on sale for the 109th running of the Indy 500. CBS 4's Hannah Fullman explains everything you need to know about the 2025 season at IMS. The Sancio Grand Prix, the 109th running of the Indianapolis 500 battle on the bricks. There is a lot in store for fans as we enter a new year of racing right here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It all kicks off in the month of May with the Sancio Grand Prix on Saturday, May 10th. Super stoked. I think it's awesome. IMS is bringing back camping during the Sancio Grand Prix, something that has not been done in years. It's just a really cool way to kick the month of May off to be inside the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, walking out when it's dark and seeing the pagoda lit up, watching the sun come up or the sun come down, just being inside the track, not outside of the track. We don't do that for the 500. Typically, we don't do it in May, so being able to do that in May is pretty special. Then just two weeks later, 350,000 race fans will travel from all around the world to experience the 109th running of the Indianapolis 500 on Sunday, May 25th. As they come down for the start for the green flag, it's just, it, it's just, your whole body is feeling it. Your hair stands up on your neck. The best thing I can compare it to is, you know, when you're on the beach and you see that beautiful sunrise and you take that picture because you want to send it to your friends and you look at it and you go, that picture doesn't really tell a story. You just literally have to be here on the beach with me. It's exactly like the Indy 500. It's really hard to explain it. You just really have to do it once to see what it's like. In June, there's the Brickyard Vintage Racing Invitational. In July, the NASCAR Xfinity Series Penzoil 250 and the NASCAR Cup Series Brickyard 400. In September, the IMSATireRack.com Battle on the Bricks, and in October, the Intercontinental GT Challenge. These races are an opportunity to introduce new fans to the track. I love to see when families bring kids and just the excitement of coming to the Speedway, the pride that oftentimes parents have when they're introducing their kids for the first time to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I love doing that. Now with IndyCar's new partnership with Fox Sports, every IndyCar race will be available on our partner station at Fox 59 starting next year. Uh, everyone should experience it at least once. Tickets are on sale right now online and at the box office. We have more information for you on how you can get your tickets tickets over on our website. For now, reporting at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, I'm Hannah Fullman.